Facts First presents Things You May Have Been Using Wrong Your Entire Life Number 1. Peeling a Hard-Boiled Egg Peeling a hard-boiled egg isn't as much trouble as many people make it out to be. You don't even need to peel the entire shell. After the egg is finished and it's cooled down, you simply tap the bottom of the egg on the counter. After you remove the small pieces of shell, hold the egg in the palm of your hand. Finally, put the end of the egg in your mouth and blow. The whole shell will come off all at once. Number 2. Ketchup can be poured easily if you find the sweet spot. If you have a bottle of Heinz ketchup in your cupboard and you need to pour it out, well, you don't have to slap the bottom of the bottle. If you inspect your bottle closely, you'll see that there is a number 57 embossed on the neck. This is the sweet spot. If you simply tap the number 57, the ketchup will come flowing right out. Number 3. You can eat your applesauce even if you don't have a spoon. There is nothing worse than having a single-serve container of applesauce to enjoy, but you forget to bring a spoon. Well, if you know this little trick, you won't need to worry about having a spoon at all. The applesauce is covered with a foil lid that can easily be shaped into a spoon, which is perfect for eating. You no longer need to pack a spoon with your lunch. Number 4. Your spaghetti spoon can measure out the perfect serving of pasta. If you're planning to cook spaghetti for just one or two people, you don't want to make the entire box. If you do, you'll be cooking way too much pasta that likely isn't going to be eaten. What you might not know is that the hole in your spaghetti spoon has another purpose besides just draining the water from the pasta. It's actually the perfect size for one serving of pasta. If you fill the hole with the uncooked pasta, you can be sure to get the right amount every time. Number 5. Your pot handle is a spoon rest. If you're cooking soup, sauce, or anything else in a saucepan, you'll stir the food, and whatever you're stirring gets all over the spoon and then all over the stove. And what you might not know is that this can be prevented. If you look at the handle of your saucepan, you'll see that there is a hole at the end. This isn't just so you can hang the pans on the wall. You can slide the spoon into this hole so that the spoon is suspended over the pan. It'll keep the surface of your stove clean. Number six. No more juice box messes. Kids love juice boxes. <laughs> All right, I admit it, some of us adults do too. And well, they're real convenient. The only problem is that some kids will squeeze the juice box too hard and the juice will come out of the straw quickly, spilling all over the floor. Well, there is a way that parents can prevent that from happening. On the side of the juice box, at the top, there are two tabs that, if lifted up, become a handle. That'll keep the kids from squeezing the juice box too hard. Number 7. You're using the wrong type of plunger When a toilet is stopped up, you would use a different type of plunger than you would if your sink or tub were clogged. Many people use the same type of plunger for all clogs, but that's a mistake. To unclog a tub or a sink, you would use a cup plunger. To unclog the toilet, you would use a flange plunger. A cup plunger looks like a cup. The flange plunger has an extra piece of rubber inside the cup. If you start using the right type of plunger for the right clog, you'll find that water goes down freely faster. Number 8. Storing Your Natural Peanut Butter If you store your natural peanut butter standing up, it separates over time, which is really frustrating. This results in a big pool of oil at the top of the jar and the peanut butter at the bottom. Well, to keep that from happening, store the peanut butter upside down. It'll keep the oil and the peanut butter together so it spreads perfectly every time. Number 9. Put the tab on your soda can to use If you've ever tried to drink soda in a can with a straw, you know that the carbonation will push the straw out of the can onto the table. Well, this doesn't need to be a problem. If you turn the tab on your soda can around so that it covers the opening in the can, your straw will fit perfectly into the hole. This will hold the straw in the can. Number 10. The loop on the back of your dress shirt actually has a purpose. Most dress shirts have a loop on the back of the shirt. Well, that loop is not there for fashion reasons. It's actually there to keep your shirt from getting wrinkled if you need to hang it up. You can use the clip to hang the shirt on a clothesline to dry or to hang on a hook. Thanks to this little loop, you no longer need to worry about your shirts getting wrinkled. Number 11. Using a bobby pin properly. Many people who use bobby pins in their hair do so the wrong way. 
If you put the bobby pin in with the flat side against your scalp, you're doing it wrong. The side with the ridges is there to give you extra grip near the scalp so that the bobby pin doesn't fall out. Number 12. The holes on the side of your plastic wrap and aluminum foil have a purpose. If you didn't know how to properly use your aluminum foil or your plastic wrap, it's easy for the roll to fall out and roll away. If you look on the sides of those boxes, you'll notice the perforated circles. They are there so that you can push them in to hold the roll in place. It makes using those products a lot easier. Number 13. Your Chinese takeout container is actually a plate. Most Chinese restaurants serve their takeout in cardboard containers. What you might not know, though, is that if you unfold the container, you can turn it into a plate. It's great if you don't have any plates handy or if you don't want to dirty any dishes. Just be sure that you're planning to eat all the food because you can't fold it back up once you've turned it into a plate. Number 14. The drawer at the bottom of your oven is for more than just storage. Most people use that drawer in the bottom of their oven to store pots and pans, and while it is a great storage space, it actually does more than that. The drawer is a warming drawer. If you want to keep your dish warm when it comes out of the oven, put it in that drawer. It'll stay hot until you're ready to eat. Number 15. Breaking off a piece of Toblerone chocolate. Toblerone is one of the tastiest types of chocolate on the market. The chocolate is shaped so that you can easily break off a bit at a time. Many people struggle, though, to break their chocolate because they're doing it wrong. Rather than pulling the triangle piece up, you should push the triangle toward the bar. That'll make each piece snap right off. Number 16. Keychain bottle openers can open a can. This is one of the many things that you've been using wrong your entire life, and it can change the way you drink from a can forever. Most people who have a bottle opener on their keychain believe it's designed to only open bottles. Well, that's not the case. If you flip the bottle cap opener over, there is a thin opening which is there to open a can. If you have long nails, you no longer need to worry about breaking one as long as you have a keychain bottle opener handy. Number 17. Condiment cups can hold more than you think. Most fast food restaurants have condiment cups for you to fill with ketchup, mustard, barbecue sauce, any other condiment that you like. And Rather than filling multiple cups to get the right amount of your condiment, you can fit it all into one. Fan out the cup. You can fit twice as much. Number 18. Tic Tac containers have a built-in dispenser. Most people don't know this, but Tic Tac containers have a built-in dispenser so you get just one piece of candy at a time. It's built into the cap, and when you pour out the candy, you'll get just one piece of candy on the cover. It's a great way to keep from pouring out too many pieces of candy at once. As if that's even possible. You can never have too many Tic Tacs in your mouth, am I right? Number 19. Peeling an orange is simple. There is a much easier way to peel an orange than the way that you've been doing it all your life. Start by slicing off the top and bottom of the orange. Next, make a small cut in the top of the orange and it'll open right up, revealing bite-sized pieces of the orange for easier eating. Number 20. Peeling a banana You might not know this, but if you're peeling your banana from the top, you've been doing it wrong. You ever watched a monkey peel a banana? If so, you would know that they peel the bananas from the bottom. You might also have noticed that they can peel the banana really fast and easily. If you peel the banana like a monkey, you'll find that it's much easier than you ever realized. Number 21. Eating a cupcake If you love cupcakes, you should know that you might be eating them wrong. If you eat the cupcake as is, well, you likely know that it can be very messy. Also, once you've eaten the top, there's no more frosting left. Well, the best way to eat a cupcake is to break it in half at the stem. Next, put the cake on top of the frosting like a sandwich. It's a much cleaner way to eat your cupcake, and you'll get frosting in every bite. Subscribe for more!